Hi, Mr. Wright here, and welcome to this film, particularly if you are taking your Edexcel IGCSE Maths Paper 2HR on Wednesday, the 4th of June. If you are, this film is especially for you, and please do hit like if you're one of those candidates so I know how many people watching this film are sitting Paper 2HR on Wednesday, the 4th of June. June. Now, in this film, I will run through those topics which I think are most likely to appear in your paper. Based upon everything I've been able to gleam about paper 1HR, and thank you to many of you for your help with that, and also based upon what I know of which topics regularly come up and how frequently each topic tends to come up. But of course, there are no guarantees. As you know, any topic could come up on any paper. But nonetheless, I hope you find this film useful and perhaps it'll help you prioritise your revision. Right, let's get on. Right, so here are the first page of topics which I think are likely to appear. First of all, percentages. Now, percentages generally come up once, if not twice, on every paper. Now, we've already had a compound interest question, but we haven't had a percentage question on profit and loss, as far as I know, nor have we had a reverse percentage change, so they would be on my list if I were you. Probability is another topic that often comes up more than once on each paper, or certainly three times across the two papers. Now, you've had a probability table. I think you've had a question that you can use a probability tree for as well, but you haven't had one of those tough probability questions where one ends up with an equation, generally a quadratic equation, to solve. One of those grade eight, grade nine probability questions. Those are the ones that I would be preparing for. Now, coordinate geometry, parallel lines, perpendicular lines, finding perpendicular bisectors, finding the equations of lines given one point and their gradient. There's been no coordinate geometry yet. 3D trig. Now, has there been a 3D trig question or a 3D Pythagoras question? To be honest, I'm not sure, but you will know. If it hasn't come up yet, make sure 3D trig is on your list. And lastly, for this page, expanding brackets. You should expect across the two papers and expanding three brackets, expanding triple brackets, and probably expanding double brackets too. So I, my understanding is that you haven't had any expanding brackets yet. So make sure that you put that right in your mind before next week's paper. Did I just say next week's paper? Sorry about that. Remember, your paper is not until Wednesday, the 4th of June. Right, here's my second page of topics, which I think will be coming up for you in your paper 2HR. Problems involving mean, median, mode, and range. So possibly where you're given the mean and the number of data points, and you have to work out the total of all the data and then use that to solve a problem or something similar to that. Now, simultaneous equations. I have a feeling that there was a simultaneous equation question on your paper, but I don't know whether or not it was linear equations, where you probably make the x's equal and then subtract, or whether it was a harder quadratic simultaneous equation question. Whichever one it wasn't, it's going to come up in your paper 2 HR. Histograms didn't come up at all. That is a topic which is certainly worth revising. Now, bounds. I believe that there was a straightforward question on bounds, but not a more complex algebraic question on bounds. So I would be making sure that I was fluent on that. And lastly, for this page, questions involving the surface area and all the volume of cones and pyramids and spheres. Definitely worth a look. And sometimes those questions can be quite feisty, can't they? And give rise to quadratic equations to solve, two solutions where only one of them is possible, and that sort of thing. So that is definitely a topic for those of you who are going for a top grade. Okay, polygons. We haven't had polygons yet. Often angle problems are revolving around polygons, might need you to find exterior angles, the sum of the interior angles of a polygon perhaps, or perhaps they'll smuggle some parallel line angle rules in a polygon question too. 
Functions haven't come up yet. Always come up once across every two papers, or generally always come up once across every two papers. So you need to find the value of, for instance, f of x, or the value of f of g of x, composite functions. Or perhaps you'll need to solve an equation which will derive from using a function. Or perhaps find the inverse function. By the way, they might hide completing the square there as well, because when you rearrange the formula to find the composite function, to find the inverse function, you may have to use completing the square. Differentiation, there's a big topic we haven't seen yet. You might be asked to um, work out properties of graphs, of the coordinates of stationary points, or something like that using differentiation. You might be asked to use differentiation to address problems involving displacement, velocity, and acceleration. Or you might be asked to use differentiation to find, for example, the maximum volume of a box given its surface area, or something like that. Vectors. Now, there's another big topic that hasn't come up yet, especially rather like differentiation and functions. For those of you who are going for a top grade, vectors must be on your list. And lastly, on this page, transforming graphs. We haven't seen any of the harder questions on transforming graphs. Uh, when, for instance, the x values change or the y values change, or when you have a graph of a trig function, a sine curve, for instance, and you're asked to stretch or squeeze it, to translate it vertically or horizontally, um, or well, any of that. So transforming graphs should be on your list, particularly if you're going for one of those top grades. Okay, here is my last set of predicted topics, circle theorems. Now we've had a feisty question on which required you to use the intersecting chord theorem, but we haven't had a question involving any of the other circle theorems, so I would be ticking those off on my revision list if I were you. Surds haven't come up yet. There's a good topic, and one which generally comes up once across every two papers. Ratio, now there's a topic that could come up in the first part of the paper, of course, but also in the later part of the paper too. And ratio is often hidden in other questions. So ratio is a must for paper two. Algebraic fractions. Now, I think we've had a simple, a, a less complex problem on algebraic fractions, but algebraic fractions is one of those topics that the examiners like to set a feisty grade eight, nine question on toward the end of the paper. Proportion, nothing yet on proportion well worth revising for your paper too. And lastly, an accessible topic for all, I hope, calculating the mean from grouped data. So those are my predictions for your paper 2HR, but I need your help. After all, you sat paper 1HR, so I'm hoping you can help me fine tune these predictions. For instance, I wasn't sure about 3D trig, 3D Pythagoras. I wasn't sure which sort of simultaneous equation question has already come up. And there are some other vagaries as well in the film. Could you please make a comment, add to the comments, giving everybody the benefit of your experience of paper one HR to fine tune these predictions. Now in the description of this film, you will find links to playlists which cover many of the topics I've mentioned. And I hope you find those useful as you prepare for your paper 2 HR. And if you've got any questions, if I can help you with anything, if you're looking for any resources on any particular topics, let me know in the comments. I respond to each one and I will do my very best to help. Right, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next film.